All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get in the game, get in the game. We're making my talking mushroom. Hey y'all, it's Lauren from Hot for Food and I'm bringing back the Hot for Food test kitchen today. Why? Because I said so. And this is my kitchen. And I got a fancy new cookbook in the mail, The Wicked Healthy Cookbook from my buds Derek and Chad Sarno. And I thought I would pull a recipe out of here that I've been curious about and do a little testy test on it, since it's something I've never done before. Um, and that's what we do here in the test kitchen. We try things, we experiment. This isn't so much a trend, but I do think it is something that the Sarnos have um, kind of trademarked. Uh, you may follow them on Instagram, at Wicked Healthy, and you'll, you see them searing clusters of mushrooms with two cast iron skillets to get them nice and flat. So today we're gonna to be doing the barbecued maitake steaks and making the spicy maitake sandwich out of it. Um, this is delicious sounding. There's no photo of it in the book, so I don't know what the end result is supposed to look like, but there is this photo of the barbecued maitake steak with the bulgogi marinade and it looks beautiful. It looks like meat, guys, it's crazy. The photography in this book is gorgeous. There's lots of pro chef tips. Derek and Chad are legit plant-based chefs and they have legit crazy huge jobs all around the world where they're cooking for celebrities and doing catered dinners. And Derek is the head of plant-based food at Tesco in the UK. So anyway, these are two people that I very much admire in the plant-based world and I think they're doing amazing, incredible things. And I can only, I can only, pray and manifest that one day I can do similar types of groundbreaking things. So I quite admire them. That's why I'm um, testing out this recipe in this cookbook. I wouldn't normally, you know, open cookbooks on here and talk about them um, other than my own, but uh, I quite respect this one and I think you should check it out, especially if you want to learn fancy new things, things that I will never do. I think I can learn from this book, so that's why I'm excited about it. So pre-order it May 8th. The Wicked Healthy Cookbook is free from animals, entirely vegan. There's lots of mushrooms, so that's what we're focused focusing on today and thank you guys for sending me the book. I think it's gorgeous. So I found these um, maitake mushroom clusters in Toronto at uh, a couple of, one of them was at a little market, one was at Whole Foods. And what I've learned now is that these aren't real maitakes. These are grown indoors organically. They're almost like not engineered maitakes, but they're not wild maitake, also known as hen of the woods mushrooms. Um, I think because they're supposed to look like chicken feathers or like ruffled fe chicken feathers, and then they actually have the texture of chicken. So if you were foraging these in the wild, they would be much larger, they would be more ruffled. To me, these look like black oyster mushroom clusters, but I'm told they're maitakes. The package says maitake. Here's, here's one in a package. Um, so anyways, I have four of these. They were $3.99 each, which I think is a pretty good price. You know, if we're comparing it to meat, mushrooms are obviously cheaper and we're gonna get a lot out of this to make about three to four sandwiches. Um, so I have most of the components already made because I think the real testing part of this recipe is the cast iron searing and the marinating. So I already have the marinade made. This is um, a bulgogi sauce marinade. I don't know what bulgogi barbecue means, but that's what they've called it in this book. It's got tamari, hoisin, toasted sesame seed oil, I put maple syrup instead of brown rice syrup, garlic and ginger. And it smells delicious and it tastes delicious. I already tasted it. And then also while we're searing, we do a dry rub seasoning and this is just granulated onions, salt and pepper. And then the guys have like three other seasonings. They have a char siu barbecue and a Texas barbecue. And then you can make these meaty mushroom steaks. And they say you can also use oyster mushroom clusters. It's just gonna take a little longer to do the searing because there's more water in the oyster mushrooms than the maitake. So I'm gonna get this heated up. This needs to be wicked hot, as they say. Uh, and I always tell you too, if your pan's not hot enough, you're pretty much effed. So get this thing hot and then you need a second cast iron or they suggest aluminum foil wrapped bricks, something super heavy to go on top to squish those clusters until they're flat. So let's give this a go. I've literally never done this before. So when your pan's really hot, add a tablespoon of vegetable oil and swirl it around to coat the pan. Add one of the clusters. I'm gonna do one at a time and use the other cast iron to place on top and press to sear the mushroom. This takes about two minutes. I'm just using a oven mitt to kind of use to press it down more, just because my pan is smaller, so it's not as heavy. But it is working. And then remove the cast iron, remove the mushroom, and put another tablespoon of oil in the pan. 
you flip it, season the cooked side with half of the seasoning. Oh, it broke, damn it! Then put the other cast iron on top and cook and sear for about another two minutes. And I have my oven preheating to 400 because uh, they say to finish these on a grill, but I don't have a grill. We're gonna finish them in the oven, which is the option with the marinade. It's very loud, but go with it. Go with the flow. Then flip it again and season the newly cooked side with the remaining seasoning. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, now you're gonna do this until all the clusters are nice and seared. All right, so we have seared all the maitake steaks. They look incredible. I basted them with the bulgogi sauce. They're gonna go in an oven now for 40 minutes and we're gonna flip and baste a couple of times. Now, they say to marinate for two days if you can, but ain't nobody got time for that. So we're just gonna go right into the oven. I think the sauce is so flavorful that it's not gonna matter. It's gonna soak all in here. We're gonna be good. They're gonna get nice and caramelized. So uh, now we just wait and then we will assemble our spicy maitake mushroom sandwiches. Okay, our spicy maitake steak sandwiches are pretty much ready to go. We have all our fixins. The steaks look juicy, caramelized, meaty, delicious. I'm so excited for this. I think this is such a brilliant idea. All right, um, I'm following the recipe for the most part. Uh, Derek says to use fresh jalapenos. I'm using pickled because that's what I always have on hand and they're not as spicy because I don't like it as hot as they do. Um, dill pickle coins, sliced into coins. They specifically said cut them like that. They did not say to add lettuce, but I like shredded iceberg lettuce. I think it's gonna go nice on the sandwich. I'm also doing fresh cilantro. They said you could also use mint. Mint would be nice, I just don't have it. Always have cilantro. Uh, we're using follow your heart mozzarella, but they said pepper jack. Again, maybe a little too spicy for me. I don't have the pepper jack. And then we're gonna spread this kimchi mayo, which is in the book as well. It's just plant-based mayo blended with vegan-friendly kimchi. So the cabbage, everything, the juices, everything gets blended up in that. It's really tasty. Not too spicy, actually. I think it's gonna complement everything nice. So we're gonna spread some mayo on these buns, put the cheese on, melt them open face um, in the oven, and then we're ready to make sandwiches. Oh yeah, this other trick here. So uh, the guys obviously are chefs, they know what they're doing. This is what you would do in a restaurant before you serve red onions. You chill them in ice water, it takes the stingy oniony bite that people don't like in red onions, kind of takes it out, and it keeps them nice and crisp and fresh and ready to go on a sandwich. So I learned a little pro tip from the Wicked Healthy Cookbook. All right, uh, let's prep these buns and let's make some Sammy. shrooms guys look at these sandwiches spicy maitake steak sandwiches from the wicked healthy cookbook by Derek and Chad Sarno they are brilliant I would say this was a very successful hot for food test kitchen testing out this recipe of searing clusters of maitake mushrooms in the cast iron skillet I love how this came together I hope I did you guys proud because there was no photo to style from so I just did my own styling version. It looks a little bit like a banh mi sandwich. I thought the cheese might be weird on it. I think you could omit the cheese if you wanted, but I mean, I think it's gonna be tasty. Um, all right, I'm gonna like, I know you're gonna be disappointed in me because I'm not gonna lift up the whole thing and bite it. I'm gonna cut off a piece. I don't wanna ruin my paper wrapping. I wanna share with the people that are in my studio right now, so I don't wanna stick my mouth all over it. Ready? Oh yeah, but the mushrooms, like just the mushrooms on their own are incredible. It's like brisket, it's crazy. Here we go, that's a nice little bite there. Oh God, what's happening here? Mmm. <laughs> Holy crap. 
That is a good sandwich. Mmm. I wish I could say I came up with this myself, but I didn't. Mmm. Mmm. So fresh. Mmm, I like the cheese. It's definitely wicked. And it's definitely pretty healthy. It's just plants. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not supposed to look at that camera, but sometimes I do. Holy crap. I'm into this. That made enough for four sandwiches. My subs are, yeah, six inches, the, the buns. So I have extra meat here, because I only made two. It's not real meat, in case you're just tuning in for some reason at this point in time. Derek has a pet squirrel and a pet fox. Go follow them on Instagram. I'll put their, all their handles here. Oh yeah, that is a winner. Winner, winner, maitake dinner. Give this one a go. Get the cookbook, y'all. Um, you are bound to learn some incredible techniques, some new things that you obviously won't find in the Hot For Food cookbook. They've got tons of sauces, tons of like ways to season things. Stuffed avocado bar, taco bar, loaded baked potato bar, mac and cheese bar. What? Look, mac and cheese bar, okay? This is definitely one you wanna to add to your collection. Go pre-order it now, it's out May 8th. Hope you liked this episode of Hot For Foods Test, Test Kitchen. Mm, if you make this, if you get the book, let me know what you think, if you try something out. Maybe you could try a variation on this, experiment yourself, you know, now that you know the technique. That's pretty much it. Follow me at Hot For Food, at Lauren Toyota. Check out the Hot For Food cookbook if you want. Vegan Comfort Classics, 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. And tag me if you make anything, of course. I'm just really into this. I'm gonna go now so I can finish eating because it's so magical. These are some magical mushrooms. Mm. All right, I love you all. I'm here every Wednesday. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment below. Peace out, bye.